New phone, same show. If you watching for the first time, you should know. We run down things that go on through the week. I know that my voice likes to squeak. Especially used to when I used to make this. So, don't frown. Turn it upside down into a smile. Now, Wednesday run down season three. Yes, this is a new haircut. And yes, this is a Cubs blanket with the Colts shirt. Gotta support the teams. Anyways, y'all. I'm talking about job today, jobs. Uh, I really do have fun. I have fun at my job. At my job. Um, at Burger King, if you didn't know. Uh, but my body hurts today because, I mean, you're just standing all day. You know, there's nowhere to sit in the back. I mean, you can lean and stuff, but uh, moving the whole time and all that. So my body aches. Um... And, you know, there's way less free time, which is all cool. I'm totally fine with that. Actually, today is my time with most free time. Uh, but I'm just happy to be making that bag and also to be um, finally working, you know. Uh, as I was talking to you guys about last week, hard work and how I was trying to get a job and I was feeling, like, sad that I wasn't getting it and stuff. And now I'm, like, very happy. Um... And, you know, I'm going in a better direction now, not only for my life, but just for really my future, you know, um, and my present. My present is also good. So, yeah, I work in the kitchen. Um, I guess not all jobs are fun. Not everybody you get on staff is good, but I have a very good staff member back in the kitchen members, I should say. Um, and, yeah, I might look kind of tired. I might look kind of. Weird. I mean, I know, I know the haircut makes me look different too, but, uh, yeah, like my shoulders, legs, all that just because, you know, I reach it around the whole time, moving around the whole time, which is okay. I, I love doing that. I got a lot of energy and stuff. Doesn't matter how much energy you get, you're, you're still going to get sprains and, you know, whatever. And all that. But it's good I work in the kitchen. Because I would not be able to have enough focus. Or enough really um, patience. To be the person up at the front. When you're back in the kitchen. You know if you're not cooking. Or you know making the burgers. You know you could be cleaning and stuff. So there's like a bunch of things you can do. Uh, and yeah just having a job. It's fun that I can finally say that. It makes you feel way more professional. I'm like six years younger than the second youngest person who works there, you know. So it's like an honor, you know. And I'm proud of myself. And I want you guys to know that it is possible. You just got to keep putting in that work. Um, what else happened in this last week? I met an NBA champion. Um, uh, Frank. Yeah, right, Frank. Yeah, Frank Kendrick. Um, Frank Kendrick's. It, it might be whatever he played at Purdue and the Golden State Warriors 1975 championship team. So he's an NBA champion. Really cool guy. Um, and he said a lot of stuff. And, and he said, you know, he was like, you're a good man. Because I was like, I, I'm really liking what you're saying. He's like, that's because you're a good man. I was like, whoa. And, and, and then he said, um, because I saw him before I was leaving with my filed work permit. Um, he said, he said, you, you know, you're going to go places if you just keep working hard. And it's like, dude. That's so true. You know, not everybody, guys, has it easy enough that, you know, you can sit back, get stuff, and then go to work, you know. For me, personally, um, I don't need to give all the details, but, y'all, like, I needed this job, you know. I needed to really start doing stuff for myself, you know. Um, there ain't no hand-holding out here uh, because, you know, I got to get ready for the real world. And I'm not dogging or hating on anybody, but, you know, they do get their hand held. That's fine. You know, but eventually, when your hand stops getting held and there's a car coming at you, you better know how to run in front of that car and get past that car. If not, you're just going to be standing there like a deer in headlights. I'm going to walk past that car because I fight every single day for what I do, for what I want, for what I get. And I'm going to go in 
day in, day out, and I'm going to put in my hours, I'm going to put in my time, and I'm going to show that I need to be respected and that I respect everybody in there just as much as I respect myself. That's what it's about, y'all. Respect yourselves enough to not only when you get a job, but work your butt off at it. Work your butt off in everything you do. I know I do, and I know that with everything... Um, it takes passion, perseverance, effort, and most importantly, love. You must love what you're doing. You must have fun with what you're doing because if not, you're doing it wrong. You're making money. You should at least have a little bit of fun making money, especially at our age before we have a bunch of taxes. You know, we have some, but like we don't got a bunch of taxes. This is the best time to make money. Um, and man, there's no better time than now when we have a lot of hours off of the day. Um, because of Zooms or the Wednesdays that, you know, like today, where if we did have school today, it would just be whatever. And then you get breaks and it's like, dude, those breaks, yeah, you can do other stuff with friends, but also you can work. And, you know, I, I just, I, I'm a big advocate, y'all, for moving yourself in that direction. And the best thing you can do, the best thing that you could do in life, if you are ever feeling bad or stressed about something, is just going and doing it. On Monday, I said, I'm going and doing it. Wednesday, went and did it, right? And then on Friday, on Friday, instead of the interview at McDonald's, like, didn't work out. So then I went to Burger King and bam, got the job. So that's just what it is, guys. You can't give up. And my family on my dad's side is historically stubborn, but that's not a bad thing. It can actually be used very well like it was because I went to the McDonald's and then I could have given up. I was dressed up. I already had everything right. So I could have went and interviewed anywhere. And I was like, I ain't going home now. We're going to go somewhere else. I'm going to try to at least apply by today. Maybe even get an interview somehow. Bam, I did. And I started Saturday. That's how you do it. You can't give up. You must keep going. You must keep fighting. Don't ever stop until you've gotten to your goal. When it comes to things like this, of course. That's, that's really all, all I got, y'all. Let's get to the shout ah, ah, outs. Starting off with Thursday, we got Julian, my main man. He sort of helped me with the hiring process. Well, he filled in a lot of my paperwork and he'll help me with it. Uh, just like the easy A G R E E agree little things, whatever. Because uh, we went in there on Friday or whatever. But he gets a shout out for Thursday. Because Friday goes to James. James, thank you for always supporting the channel. I know when I see these views go up, I, I, I always ask around to see who's the view. I don't know who it is, which means it's most likely you. Thank you, James, for the continued support, man. We love you here at the channel. And it's much appreciated. Monday, we're going to give a shout out to Matthew Crosby, Bosby, Dosby. Cool guy back from quarantine. Finally got to see him at lunch again. Big legend. We love Matthew here on the channel as well. Um, Tuesday, we're going to give it to Tyler. Tyler been supporting me through the hiring process. You know, he'd be keeping my head up high even before the hiring process. So thank you, Tyler, for always keeping me on the right track, man, and being my number one homie, even my brother, you feel? And today, Wednesday, we're going to give it to JD. He'd be on the front lines like me out here. You know, we got to be wearing our masks. You know, you got to be protecting others, protecting yourself, y'all. Um, it's an important thing. You know, because we're providing for people when we go into work every day. So, you know, not only for yourself, but for the people around you and the people you're serving. That's going to be the Wednesday Rundown for today. Episode 78. Um, I know it feels like we're zooming through them lately. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, NFL predictions video. Actually, NFL predictions video. Will might not come out this week because tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so I might just be watching the games. Um, Saturday, I should be making the Indiana video like usual. Hopefully, I might not get to it again with all this work thing. It's difficult, gonna be more difficult, but I am making this video, guys. So if those don't come out, I'm sorry. If they do, that's awesome. Just wanted to give that little update. Uh, I love you guys. Oh, when I see you again, I will be ending the video like this. Yo, 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 Affleck, out.